This video is all about hazards in a restaurant. Restaurant is a business that prepares and serves food as well as drinks to customers. As a customer, are we aware that restaurant employees are at a greater risk of exposure to hazards? Food industry employees have 60% more likelihood of suffering from occupational hazard than workers in other sectors. Now it's time to identify hazards in a restaurant. First of all, what is hazard? Hazard is a source of or in a condition that has potential to cause harm to human in the form of injury or illness, property damage, environmental damage or a combination of these. There are five common hazards found at restaurant. What are the types of hazards? They consist of physical, chemical, biological, ergonomic, and psychosocial hazard. In this video, we will mainly focus on physical, chemical, and ergonomic hazard. So let's identify the physical hazard handling sharp utensils such as knife slippery floor with oil stain water or other liquids worn electric cords improperly wired or ungrounded outdoors which are the examples of physical hazard found in a restaurant what are the possible health effects that can occur Workers may get cuts, head injury, or even electrocuted in the worst case scenario. Restaurant workers are more likely to be exposed to potentially hazardous chemicals such as oven cleaners, floor cleaners, pesticide, disinfectant, drain cleaners, soap, and detergent. These hazardous chemicals causes skin and eye irritation. Stocking products on higher or lower shelves is an example of ergonomic hazard in a restaurant. Workers may experience arm, back and knee strain due to poor posture. Thus, how do we deal with hazards in a restaurant? Hierarchy of control will help in the adoption of fundamentally safer systems which reduces the danger of disease or damage. Elimination is the most effective control while personal protective equipment is the least effective control. As for personal protective equipment control, we can use special gloves when using knife. Clean the knife immediately and place it in a container is an example using isolation as a control. Coat claw with anti-slip surfaces. It is an engineering control. Use ground for circuit interrupter receptacle for protection, which is a substitution. For administrative control, Read the chemical label and follow the instructions and recommendation list on the label. Install shelves at medium height to prevent employees from reaching too high or too low. It eliminates the hazard. All in all, the restaurant industry poses several hazards that may have severe consequences if not prevented. Thus. We hope this video will be helpful in guiding employees as well as owners of the restaurant to identify physical, chemical and ergonomic hazards and ways to deal with them.